I. So this is nine months after my hair transplant procedure in Turkey. And as you can see, I'm three quarters of the way through my recovery. So I'm not fully recovered yet, so the density hasn't fully improved. So please don't comment and say it looks rubbish um, until after a year. Then you can say, yeah, whether it's worked or not, because the density still got to improve. You can see that the crown area um, has still got to improve as well. That takes longer apparently, because the blood flow is not uh, that good in that area. But the rest of it, you can see the density has improved since last month. I'm gonna show a before photo and what it's like now. And again, you can see then the density has improved and the actual bald area at the front is much better as well. So I've got um, a different hairline. I know a lot of you commented and said it's not low enough, but um, as you can see, it's, um, it's grown back quite well. So yeah, so the procedure was done in February and it's now November and um, it cost me £3,300 and that included um, accommodation and transfers to and from the airport and also to and from the hospital. All I had to pay for was flights and actually breakfast was included so we paid for an even meal and then lunch as well. So the donor area at the sides where the hair is taken from is quite thin so um, it doesn't mean it's going to get any thicker on top uh, so I'm still going to have thin hair um, however there's a difference between the thin hair and the density and what we want then is obviously the density to improve so let's see what it's going to look like next month and then even after a year um, hopefully it's going to be um, you know, fully recovered and I'll have uh, better density then so thanks for watching anyway uh, please comment uh, thanks very much.